Hey there, everybody. Um, I don't normally do this, uh, this whole video blog thing, but um, I've been thinking about things recently, um, so I figured I'd do one. Mostly about the music industry, um, or not so much the industry itself, I guess at all. I guess so. Mostly just about the state of music in general uh, nowadays currently and just just how horrible most of it is and and just wondering um how we get to this point uh I, it, this mostly I started thinking a lot about this uh I've been I've been watching old uh rock performances um like Queen and just 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 seeing how incredible like that stuff was and, and like watching old footage from Woodstock and just like like something like that would never happen nowadays and it's it's just it's like I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to d figure out why people listen to the music that they do nowadays and and it's 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 kind of a hard question because i mean obviously everybody has their own opinion but i just feel like so much of it is horrible and and i feel like we're a minority, like, the people who actually, uh, realize that a lot of this music is horrible, fucking, uh, whatever, Justin Bieber bullshit and fucking auto team crap, like, who listens to that? Really? Fucking sequenced techno music, like, like, really, who listens to that? And I, I mean, a lot of people do. But, I feel like, th why why has that become the majority? I, you'd think that there's enough people out there who are, um, you know, into a certain type of music that, that focuses on uh, emotional passion and actual, you know, something that really gets right into the heart and, and, and really just hits you deep down and it makes you really feel it, um, and just it like I don't understand how there's so few people who actually feel that way about music currently or ap apparently I mean who knows um, I'm, I'm actually curious uh, I mean I, obviously I'm never going to be sure if anybody who comments is honest or not but I'm curious how many people actually do feel that way about music and just simply listen to everything on the radio nowadays just because it's there and 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 there's nothing better that's getting released and 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 record companies feel like oh well there's all of these people buying this music like sure it's it's got to be good if people are buying it right if people are liking it on Facebook or 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 you know following these people, these bands on Twitter, or, or I don't even know if you could call half them bands, groups, artists. I don't even know if you could call half of them artists, honestly. But, um, people are following them on Twitter, and, and, uh, and it's just like, from a marketing point of view, I understand when record companies are all like, okay, let's find these kind of people that will appeal to this age group, this demographic. But it's just become so focused on that, and it's just like, it's it's really not about emotion and, and, and the things that I look for in music anymore, and it's, it's just, it's really sad. It's pretty depressing. 
and and not even just so much the classic rock stuff. I mean, that's a lot of it. Um, that's what people will always jump to first when they're all like, oh yeah, I'm looking for really like heartfelt music, like something that'll really hit me here, something that I can really identify with. But also just stuff like um, like punk rock and just like something that that has lyrics that you really identify with and, and 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 that they actually believe in when they're singing it, you know? I mean, a lot of people will jump right to, like, technical skill and, like, uh, like oh, this, this person is technically really good at playing the guitar and, and, uh, this person can hit a high pitch with their voice. And that's part of it, sure. That's impressive in itself. But if that's all it is, it's it's not enough. And I mean, um, so I guess I, I, yeah. For example, like like um, you look at uh, like speed metal nowadays, and it's it's just like it's just so processed. It's like. Let's just play as fucking fast as we can, and let's just scream into this microphone. Like, wh what? Like, sure, they're, they're, they have a talent. They can play really fast. They, they, um, they play really clear notes. That's great. There's no emotion in it. It's, it's, it's... I don't like any of that. Um... But when when it comes to something like punk rock and it, it, like uh, when it comes to classic rock, all that stuff, it, you can really um, you can really feel where the person is coming from when when they're singing and and when they're not even just vocals, but like when somebody's playing a guitar and they really feel connected to the song and it, it's it's a different sound and it comes across. And I just don't know what's happened to that nowadays. It's all processed, and it's it's garbage. And, I, I mean, uh, okay, if you go searching nowadays, if you go... If you take a long time, and you search very thorough, you can come across some really talented bands. But I just don't understand why that hasn't come to the forefront. Um, and, well, every now and then, there'll there'll be a pop song... And it'll be all like, oh, that's actually, that's actually a good song. That's actually really, like, um, somebody that I used to know with, with, uh, from, from Gotti, or however you pronounce his, however you pronounce that group's name, um, that's actually a really good song. Will I remember it in ten years? I don't know. Maybe vaguely. It's, it's not legendary. It's not like something that it's, it sticks in my mind, but it's, it's, it's a good song, and that, combined with a lot of other good music, would be fine, I mean, that would be on the lower end of the spectrum, uh, if, if good music was constantly coming out nowadays, or what I consider good music, you know, this is all obviously subjective, I'm the one who's saying it. I, I hate when people fucking say that. Like, oh, in my opinion, uh, well, a fucking, of course it's your opinion. You're the one saying it, asshole. Um, but I'm not going to get into that. That's that's a whole other thing. I just don't understand why people listen to to uh, this this stuff. And I, I've said that like fucking five times now. Um, but really, I, I really want to know. And I really wish people will leave comments, and, and they'll explain it to me, and then I'll know. And then I'll be all like, oh, okay, that's why. And then I'll be all like, well, I'll, I'll either be all like, oh, okay, now I understand. Alright, cool. Or I'll be all like, oh, you're, you're fucking stupid. Either way, leave a comment. Um, this video is running a little long now. So
later.